For the first time in the UK, doctors have reported the birth of a baby with three genetic parents, born through a groundbreaking IVF procedure that prevents children from inheriting incurable diseases. Although this is a first for UK, such a birth was first reported once before in Mexico in 2016. The technique, known as mitochondrial donation treatment or MDT, uses tissue from the eggs of healthy female donors to create embryos that are free from harmful mutations their mothers carry and are likely to pass on to their children. In this episode, I tell you all about the procedure, why some parents are opting for it and why it is considered controversial. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. We have all learned in school that mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. They are tiny structures found inside cells that provide energy for various functions that the cell carries out. They have their own small amount of DNA known as mitochondrial DNA or empty DNA which is separate from the nuclear DNA found in the cell nucleus. Some genetic diseases are caused by mutations in the empty DNA. Now what do we mean by mutations? DNA is built of tiny building blocks known as nucleotides. Nucleotides are composed of three parts, a nitrogenous base, a 5-carbon sugar and a phosphate group. The four types of nitrogenous bases found in nucleotides are adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. These are represented by the letters A, G, C and T. These four bases form the genetic code that determines the trait of living organisms. Now, mutations are like small typos in this genetic code. A few letters might get replaced, added or deleted, changing the way in which the cell functions. This is what causes genetic diseases and many of these are not treatable. Most of a human's 20,000 genes are located in the nucleus of every cell in the body. But around each nucleus, there are thousands of mitochondria with their own DNA. While the mitochondria provides vital energy for cells that make up our organs, mutations can affect tissues that are most energy hungry, like the ones in our brains, hearts, muscles and liver. These organs can deteriorate relentlessly as an affected child grows. With advances in technology, it is now possible to know when a person carries such mutations. In cases where a woman carries a mitochondrial disease or has a high risk of passing it on to her children, MDT can be used. The procedure involves taking nucleus from the egg of the mother and healthy mitochondria from the egg given by a donor and combining their DNA. So typically the process involves removing the nuclear DNA from the egg of the intended mother and transferring it to the donor egg that has its nucleus removed. The resulting egg now has nuclear DNA from the mother and healthy mitochondria from the donor. Now this reconstructed egg is fertilized with a sperm from the father through in vitro fertilization or IVF. As a result, the child inherits the majority of its genetic material from the intended parents but receives healthy mitochondria from the donor. In this sense, the child has three genetic parents, although according to experts, 99.8% of the DNA come from the mother and the father. The donor contributes just about 37 genes. The goal of this technique is to prevent the transmission of mitochondrial diseases which can cause severe health problems. It offers a potential option for couples who carry these genetic conditions to have a genetically related child without the risk of passing on the disease. Research on this therapy was pioneered in the UK by doctors at the Newcastle Fertility Centre. The work aimed to help women with mutated mitochondria to have babies without the risk of passing on their genetic disorders. People inherit all their mitochondria from their mother, so harmful mutations in these powerhouses affect all the children a woman has. Now the technique is a breakthrough because for women who have these mutations, conceiving naturally is a gamble. 
For example, the woman from Mexico who was reported to have had a baby through this procedure in 2016 had mitochondrial mutations that caused a fatal condition called Lay syndrome. Prior to the treatment, the woman had four miscarriages and two children. One died at the age of six, the other lived for only eight months. Now, why is there a controversy around this procedure? Firstly, there isn't any long-term research conducted on this procedure on humans. So we don't yet know if there are any major risks involved. Like, are these babies at risk of other lifestyle diseases when they grow up? The clinic that performed the procedure has not shared any more details citing patient confidentiality. But according to a report by The Guardian, this is not the only three-parent baby in the UK. In 2017, the Newcastle Clinic became the first and only centre in UK licensed to perform the procedure, with the first cases approved in 2018. Approval is given on a case-to-case -case basis by the UK's Human Fertilisation and Embryology Authority, which has given green light for at least 30 cases. The HFEA confirmed to The Guardian that a small number of babies have now been born in UK after this therapy was approved. Research has found that in some cases, the tiny number of abnormal mitochondria that are inevitably carried over from the mother's egg to the donor egg can multiply when the baby is in the womb. This is called reversal and it could lead to a disease in the child. According to Dagan Wells, a professor of reproductive genetics at University of Oxford who took part in the research, why this happens is not yet fully understood. Women with mitochondrial mutations can avoid passing on disorders by adopting IVF with a complete donor egg instead of using a reconstructed egg. Another option is not to use donor eggs at all, but to screen IVF embryos for mitochondrial mutations and implant the one that is deemed to not have the mutations. So there are ethical questions on whether this procedure should be opted for. So far, the number of reported cases is far too small to draw any definitive conclusions about the safety or efficacy of the procedure. Long-term follow-up of the children born is essential at this point. Critiques of the procedure often point out that this is a slippery slope. It may open the door to more extensive genetic modifications and the creation of designer babies with enhanced traits or characteristics beyond the prevention of mitochondrial diseases. This concern raises ethical questions about the boundaries of genetic manipulation and the potential societal implications of a genetic arm race. It begins with a simple question as to what is the extent of the disease which is considered to be debilitating or life-threatening. How do parents make the decision to choose this procedure? Moreover, the procedure is currently not approved in countries like US, which is why the Jordanian couple flew to Mexico to get the procedure done by a US doctor. Can this open up avenues for the rich to exploit donors from low-income countries? And what implications does it have on familial relationships when a child has a third genetic parent? These are questions that need to be tackled before the technology becomes more widespread. This is Mohana Basu, assistant editor at The Print. If you like our work to consider paying for a subscription to The Print, you can do so through the link in the description box below.